Good morning, guys. Um, today is another one of my monitoring appointments. It's Friday, and today is day five of the injections. And I'm really starting to feel the effects. <laughs> um, yesterday at day four, I was feeling crampy all day, and my like lower area was starting to feel full. And today it's a little bit worse, so I'm... <laughs> I wonder how bad I'm gonna feel at the end of this because I'm not 100% sure how many days of these injections that we have to do. The calendar says between eight and 10. And I asked a question on this support group that I'm in last night. And most people said they were on it for like 10 to 11 days. So I could be on it longer than I think I could be. As of right now, we're looking at my egg retrieval being next week, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday next week. And I'm hoping it's closer to like Wednesday, Thursday. Uh, my daughter's birthday party is Saturday next week. So if I have an egg retrieval on Friday, I'm worried about how I'm gonna feel the next day because I've heard mixed reviews depending on how many eggs they get. And I have no idea what to think. So a lot of things like that I think about all the time and I'm starting to get stressed out. I have a huge fever blister, I think from stress. And since I've been stressing out this whole time. And I thought that maybe once I got to IVF, I feel like IVF is known as like the end game to get pregnant because it does have help people who have been able to get pregnant for 10 years. I just felt like I would be less stressed out through the process, but I feel like since IVF is like just a big ordeal, I've stressed out more. And one thing about IVF, that most people, I don't know if most people know this or not, but I just feel like honestly, it's a huge waiting game. That's all I feel like I'm doing this whole process is waiting. So for instance, we had to wait for the IVF class. Once the IVF class came, we had to wait for our period, my period to start. And then once my period started, we had to take birth control for over three weeks. So you're on birth control every day, on different antibiotics, you're waiting for the birth control to run out. Then you have to wait for your baseline appointment, wait to start the injections. And now that I'm on the injections, I'm having to wait and see every other day when I go to the doctor, what everything looks like. And it's very stressful because, I'm, because I've heard, just heard all these different stories of people who have gone in, let's like their third appointment, and their follicles just weren't doing so well. And they can get your, that can get your cycle canceled. You can end up having to do more medication. It just really depends. So this whole process is not only more stressful than I thought, but it's a lot of waiting. And I thought that once I got into it, it would go by quick going in every other day. But when I'm on the day that I'm not going in for an appointment, I'm like, what's going on in there? Like, I hope my follicles are growing. So sorry for that little vent session this morning. Um, I'm headed to Starbucks into my appointment, but I just want to always be honest about how I feel about this process. And yeah, I will say already it's harder than I thought it was gonna be. As far as, especially like as far as stress goes, I tried not to stress out and I felt like I was doing pretty good up until we got to this point. And I know that it's only gonna get worse probably because it probably won't be over until I have a baby in my arms. <laughs> and then once you have a baby in your arms, a whole different level of stress is gonna come. So, thanks for letting me vent that to you guys. I really appreciate you guys listening or probably fast forwarding to the actual appointment, I don't know. So let's hope I have lots of good growth still and my estrogen level is good. Fingers crossed, I'm gonna bring the camera in and film for you guys. Hopefully it's the same nurse or the other nurse doesn't care either. So I didn't think about when I asked last time if that nurse doesn't care or if they don't care in general. So I'm just gonna bring the camera in and try and then we'll see what happens. I'm happy to bring you okay. forward. Oh yeah, you're yeah. getting full there. Yeah, I feel it. <laughs> And not every follicle will contain an egg, is that? Right, not every follicle. Um, we hope, but um, we'll go into every follicle to at least drain it. But um, yeah. Luckily it continues to record. <laughs> Hey guys.
guys i am back from work and i'm already like in my sweats and my husband and i are going to target when he gets home from work and i honestly could not bear to be in my jeans for more than like one minute longer so today's day five like you guys probably already know and i am horrible like it's very kind of full feeling and i just feel very um like ugh, crampy and no one can be on my stomach or near it even like my actual skin where the injections are is starting to get very tender so i got my results back around noon <coughs> and oh my goodness and pretty much they said that my estrogen level like skyrocketed from the appointment on Wednesday to today, which is 48 hours, it went from 380 to 1226. So really high up there. And she said that they see this, not to freak out about it, but they're going to cut my morning injection into half. So instead of 150 of going F, I'll be on 75. And the men up here will stay at the 150. And then she said on Sunday morning, when I go back for my um, appointment, they probably will have me add in the third injection daily which is the cetotide that keeps your body from actually ovulating because you don't want that to happen and what else so a pretty much so pretty much um after this video you will see me again either on tuesday or wednesday morning so the next time you see me i should know a date for the egg retrieval and I'm supposed to go in Sunday and Monday for sure. They said possibly Tuesday. I don't know with them lowering the dose if that means it'll take a little bit longer or what the case is. But I hope that by lowering the first medication that I stop being as bloated so bad because it like it's bloated but it just feels kind of always crampy down there and it's just not fun. Only being on day five, people that I talk to have gone to like day 13, which is kind of scary to think that I could be going that long. Hopefully not because they're going everything's growing pretty good. Um, but anyways, so that's the update that I have for you guys right now. Um, I hope you enjoyed seeing the footage from earlier. My husband hasn't even seen it yet. Um, he hasn't been able to go to any appointments yet. He'll be able to go on Monday, thank goodness. So that's all for this video, you guys. Hopefully next time I talk to you, I will have a date for the egg retrieval. Once I know that, I will also know the transfer day. Um, otherwise, I will see you regardless because I will post a video after my appointment. So if it's prolonged for some reason, you're still going to know. But that'll be why, why there's an absence for a little bit. I'm just going to loop it all together. And hopefully I'll have really exciting news whenever I come back on Tuesday or Wednesday. So that's all for this video. And I will see you guys in my next one. Are you getting excited? You have no clue what's going on, do you? But I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.